As we sit in here this morning in this beautiful sanctuary, several people will die and go to hell, eternally separated from God forever. But that's reality. We don't hear a lot about this anymore in the modern church. Is it not strange to see that we have gained so much ground politically, socially, and even economically? But the blackness of sin, the darkness of bondage, continues to roll over our nation. The enormous amount of Christian activity in this hour, what do you mean? I mean, the Christian music industry is huge. Christian media, Christian books, Christian bookstores, church growth mindsets, mega church evolving. I mean, you name it, friend. How is it that we can gain so much ground in these areas, but by and large, our society is not affected by our growth? Is it not alarming to you as it is to me that the divorce rate is as high in the church as it is in the world? Does that not stir you? Isn't it amazing that the things that entertain the world are the same things that entertain the church? You want to move a God, friend? You want to see this community change? Then something has to change in our hearts. What I'm talking about is becoming normal as the people of God. We don't have time to do it in the future. We don't have time to go through the motions of church life. We forget that we are clothed with fire and with love and with purity and with anointing so that we can take the true message of the cross into places of darkness and topple the kingdom of hell. And God will use us to affect eternity forever. The power of God unto salvation comes through the cross of Jesus Christ. And when we neglect to preach it and to live it, we abandon the doctrine of the apostles and the prophets with Jesus Christ himself being the chief of our time. We lose our identity. Isn't it amazing that we've got a hundred thousand books on how to do it and everybody's got their own opinion and their own ideas and what's good and what's not good but it's so simple in the word of god that if we walk in obedience and purity of heart that the anointing and the presence and the glory of god will rest upon us I realize that I did not own myself anymore. I realize that there is a nation and a generation out there that must hear the truth. We don't need to coddle people in their sin. We need to love them, but they must hear the message of the cross. It is the only thing that works.